Hi, welcome to this short video on how to set personal goals. Personal goals are about, about really being really clear on what your objectives are and moving from, from there. And, and I use them and we will use them in the context of a, of a leadership model. Where we need to focus on our team, we need to focus a bit on, our, on, our, on ourselves, and then lastly our tools. So if we're going to be a good leader, we've got to work within the team and we've got to lead that team and, and help that team um, achieve. That often involves working on yourself and improving our, ourself as well as improving the team. And then lastly, we need to, need to make sure that we are leveraging the tools and processes um, at our fingertips that are going to help us do a better job in both those areas. And then setting personal goals is really about the self. All right, and there are three key areas that I, that I think about here when we're starting to think about goal setting. The, your business performance, so how well you perform in the business. Are there any additional goals and measures that are required specifically for your role? And lastly, what are your personal goals and aspirations? And, and my suggestion is that we use a simple framework. And that framework is defined by these definitions. So for me, goals are, are an overarching complex of measures, all right? So, so goals are a big thing. I want to set some goals. Goals normally for me have components, and those components are defined as objectives, um, measures, targets, and then we can pull them together into a KPI if we want to, to give us a clear statement. But let's just talk about those. So an objective is, is, a, is I guess, is something that is large in scope, and not clearly defined, and I'll show you an example of what I mean here. So it's something that's that's big that you want to achieve. The measures, or we could call these key results. So if you use an OKR framework, which are also here, these objectives, and then key results is the KR part of key results. So so what are the measures? What are the things that you would measure that would tell you you're on target to meet your objective? All right. So we can have a series of measures here, or, or key results, and then lastly. What are the numeric values that will illuminate your, your measures? And these change often change over time. We can have a target for, for one period and then a target for the next period and things. So, so, but all relating to the same measure. Okay? And then KPIs are a way of pulling them together so we get a nice combination of measures and targets in a clearly articulated statement. And so let's look at an example. So an example here is if I want to improve my fitness. So that's my overarching objective is to improve my fitness, all right? So that's large in scope, not brilliantly defined, right? I just want to improve my fitness, okay? So what do I mean by improve? What do I mean by, by, by fitness? What are some of the measures that I could use that would give me an indication? And often we need a basket of measures to, to help us define an objective, right? We need a number of measures to help us because one measure just won't do it. So I'm going to use uh, one measure I thought of is, is something which is a bleep test, right? So, so a bleep test is a, is a measure of, of fitness that's used by the fitness industry. Another measure could be my weight, so to see my, my, my change in weight. And the third one could be my body fat percentage, all right? So, so I'm trying to look at, at, at a basket of things. So if I'm getting fitter, I'm losing weight, and, and my, my body composition is changing, then that tells me that I'm probably in track, on track to improving my fitness. And then we've got some targets. So, you know, the bleep test is 6.6. .6. In a year, I'd like to be 8 out of 8. You know, I currently weigh 95 kilos. Six months' time, I'd love that to be 90 kilos. You know, I'm now 24% body fat. In six months' time, I'd like that to be 18%. 12 months' time, I'd like that to be 15%. Yeah, you know, I don't know if that's achievable or, or not. All right, so that's how you layer them up and gives us an idea. Now, if we want to convert them into a KPI, we could simply... We simply use this VQTQ framework, all right? V stands for verb, quantity, time frame, and quality, all right? So an example is I would want to weigh 90 kilos by the 30th of June at 18% body fat. So the verb there is weigh, the quantity is 90 kilograms, the time frame is 30 June, and the quality measure is 18% body fat, okay? I hope that makes sense. So we can take the existing framework and convert it into a nice KPI statement um, that uh, that will really help us. So, so what I'd like to see at the end of this is some KPIs or some things we can actually measure and get a handle on um, dropping out of that. Now, we're going to look at three key areas, as I mentioned, business performance goals. 
So what are the key perform business performance key business performance measures specifically for you? So they could be things like fee targets, new client targets, you know, a range of different things. And if you don't currently have any goals, then what might they be? So what I want you to do is plug those into that into that matrix, you know, so um, of uh, looking at these things, right? Plug that in. So your objective could be to increase sales and the measures could be fees or something else that you want to pick up in that space or new clients or something else, right? So what are the performance goals that you've been set or that you should set for yourself in business, right? So, so outright performance goals that you need to set specifically for you, not for the entire business, just for you. In your role, in addition to the business performance goals, are there any additional goals that, that, that you could set or have been set for you that are specific for your role? So these could be team measures, they could be activity targets, they could be cultural targets, you know what I mean, corporate cultural targets. There could be a whole heap of things that, that, that we want to, want to get. Be team engagement, a whole heap of other things that are specific for your role and not directly as an output from the business, but they're things that you as a partner or as a leader in the business need to focus on. Again, if you don't have any, then you might want to focus on those. So that's the business and then your role. And then the last one we talked about was this personal, personal goals. I like this life balance model as a way of thinking about those goals. So you might want to think about some goals in terms of family or social, and that's friends and, and, and those sorts of things. Um, finance, personal finance, that is. Philosophy, you know, the philosophy, I'm using that as a term for, for like uh, if you have any religious or spiritual beliefs, um, then you might have some specific goals around those. Mental, so, so you could have some goals around your mental health or around mental growth in terms of growth and development for yourself personally. And lastly, for health. So you could have a, a health goal like mine was, which was you know to improve my fitness. So just take the time to think of them. You don't have to have a goal for all six, but you might want to, but just think about what the goals could be. What are the really important things you would like to focus on in your personal life that are gonna really help you move ahead? And then, you know, we can just summarize those using using a table like like this, or you can just, I find this is the easy way to write them out first, and then you can do some KPIs based on, once you've got your objective, your measures, and your targets, then it's easy to write a KPI using that VQTQ model. All right, ideally, you know, you wanna have a handful of, of really good measures that help you understand um, that you're, um, where you're heading and where you're going, uh, personally um, within the business okay so the next step is uh, to get into that either use the template attached or um, or use a Google Doc if we've, if we've set one of those up for you uh, and make things happen of course if you've got any questions um, then please come back to me and uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions you like the easiest way is to either send me a text a an email or if you're on Mindshop online to send me a post on Mindshop online okay thanks a lot I'll talk to you soon